stealing joke thing. You yeah. know, uh, have you had anybody steal your joke? Truth. Yes. What? <laughs> yes. Which one of your jokes? And then we ain't gonna say who. I'm not gonna say which one. No, I ain't saying who. 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 I who. I ain't saying who. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Like, that nigga funny, man. You guys have figured it out, bro. True. That and that's 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 why that's why we have so many problems because, like you said, don't like y'all. Oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you, like I didn't work with some old niggas in my shows, like booking old niggas, putting them on my shows to feature and stuff. So it it's not a problem now. Back then, they was like, I don't think that nigga gonna last. Before they even seen what I did, really? Yeah, like, I don't. But now, who, it was, and you remember the niggas who did you like that? Yeah, I remember the niggas, they and they were, really like like you, because in my, I'm being honest with you. You guys come together, but really there's a there's a split in that whole situation. People talk about you guys like you guys really haven't had issues. You know the stealing joke thing. You yeah. know, uh, have you had anybody steal your joke? Truth, yes. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which one of your jokes? And then we ain't gonna say who. I'm not gonna say who. Nah, nah, nah. Y'all niggas know. I ain't saying who. I just joke. This what y'all doing. This what y'all niggas doing. This what they doing. Right. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. You ain't the nigga know who he is. Truth. Yes. What? Yes. Which one of your jokes? And then we ain't gonna say who. I'm not gonna say who. Y'all niggas know. I ain't saying who. I just joke. This what y'all doing. This what y'all niggas doing. Who the hell? This what they doing. But that's what I'm saying. You ain't the nigga know who he is. Truth. Yes. What? Yes. Which one of your jokes? And then we ain't gonna say who. I'm not gonna say who. Y'all niggas know. I ain't saying who. I just joke. This what y'all doing. This what y'all niggas doing. Who the hell? This what they doing. But that's what I'm saying. You ain't the nigga know who he is. Truth. Yes. There are so many ways the jokes can be told. Do you think True. people sometimes, like my cousin, he was rapping and I heard a song on the radio just like his. This was probably 20 years ago. He was like, man, nigga stole my song. Nigga don't even know you. And your song didn't get big. Do you think the universe can line up a joke? Yep. All you got to do is li you can listen to it and just switch it around. It's still your joke. But he might not have heard you. No, 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 oh, no. This nigga heard you. you know. The nigga heard me. <laughs> the nigga heard me. Because he was on the show with you one no, day. No, the nigga heard me. <laughs> It's Trust like known for stealing jokes. Like this nigga, somebody else be like, that yes. nigga. So he, he yes. steal everybody's jokes. Facts. So he, he ain't just throw one joke. He, he this nigga he, just go around the, stealing the nigga, jokes. They say the nigga stealing jokes. So he have stole. you ever stole a joke? No. Or I reused haven't. or repurposed a, a joke. I haven't. That's why you got to come to my show and listen to my stuff. My stuff homemade. Wow. I'm in the kitchen whipping it. I'm <laughs> cooking the joke. So you see that? I'm whipping it. I'm the only nigga in there. I'm whipping it. <laughs> this me. I ain't never no. No. <laughs> I cook my own stuff up. That's how I know a nigga stole from me. Because I was in the kitchen, I put the right ingredient in it. And I heard it, I said, hold up, hold up. This nigga Did using the same so? season yeah, now. Did you approach him? No, I didn't approach him. Why didn't you I, didn't, him? I didn't approach him. I'm, I mean, I did, because I'm, you know me, you're going to have to come harder than that. I, I mean, hey, if it sound good, him using it. It got a lot of views. You like, damn. So, yeah, I listened to my whole, matter of fact, my folks were calling me. I had folks call, woo, boy. They were upset. That nigga use your joke. Nigga, what you gonna do? They asking me, nigga. I ain't finna fight. Our people stuff. might be in his comments. Your your fan might be in his comments and say that's such a joke. Lot. They did. They was like, hey, that joke. That's your joke, ain't? It? That's yeah. crazy. Nigga just run around and stealing. Do have anybody ever seen you like 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 you gonna come before them and they say, hey man, don't do these joke calls. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that to anybody? No, 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 no. Like, don't, don't do these because you know um, I'm gonna be doing this. So try to stay away. Now, he try I, to explain to you how to do the jokes before he come out so he can kill it. No, actually, um, see with me, my I I get my crowd crazy. So uh, the guy was actually like he wanted to go before me. He was like, I there's no way I can come behind you. After you do that, because he seen I did in the first show. He was like, there's no way I can come behind that. Let me go first. I'm like, nah, nigga, you're not finna go first. No, nah, uh-uh. You just gonna have to gonna step have to your game up. Yeah, that's all you gonna have to do. You know, they had a problem with that. Now that you say that, that's what Steve Harvey and, and, and Bernie Magnum, they talk about that, how going, he was trying to go before Bernie. Yeah. Or go after Bernie at first, and 
it was just working him to death. And somebody had heard, he he gave his story where somebody had heard all his jokes on something before he went out. I don't know how it went down, but I just know it, he, he it was a very very big falling out because of the way they had them organized on King of Comedy, yeah. and they had to change it around and put Bernie Mac last. Uh, because of this whole situation. Like, you see these things happening in the comedy world, so you know these are real legitimate issues. Like, is it a place where you work with this guy? Let's talk about something positive. Like, who basically was dope and, like, showed you the utmost love. We can talk about them now. We can say the ones who, now you ain't got to hide the fact that a nigga showed you love or that brought you up where you he could have been like, you know, this, but he'd say, hey, man, come on, Kerwin. We, I, I want you to kill this with me. Yeah. And y'all just got good chemistry. Who is that guy? Uh, that's a lot. I, I, who I is remember. one of those guys? Who was the first person to do that to you? Man, um, that just showed you mad love. And you didn't expect it. Sean, uh, Sean Jones. I don't know if you know him. Yeah, or not. Sean Jones Sean showed Jones. you love. I had a I had a weekend with Sean Jones. Uh, Jones. When I say it's, I'm talking about it's not it's not you know some comedians I work with I you know we don't meet up to the show, but I was you know we was together we were riding around the whole weekend. Wow. And he was showing me like and he an old school comedian. He was showing me man, do this like this. You know, showing me how to line stuff up, mm-hmm. do that like that. Him, um, Marcus Cone. Okay. Yeah. Showed you, much, showed you much love. Man, I love that nigga, dog. Wow. I'm talking about, I actually, and I don't normally watch people sets, but. You his, don't really watch niggas do nothing. I don't, because I be in the back. I, that's why, because I don't want a nigga saying, oh, you stole this from me. <laughs> nigga, I'm in the back. I'm yeah. on my phone on Facebook. I don't, I don't watch niggas. That's, I don't. So he was on my show and the joke he was doing, the nail jokes and the wheelchair stuff. I'm like, this nigga is funny. I stay out there the whole time and watch his shit just because he was funny. He was funny. Yep. I know Piper the Comedian said when he first, the first person he ever went up with was Bernie Mac and Bernie mm-hmm. Mac, first thing he told him, nigga, don't steal my joke. They will. Yeah. <laughs> if, if niggas will come to your shows, act like they just want to support, but... They really be coming there with that little pad writing down. I'm gonna mm. take this. I'm gonna switch it around. It was they do that, but hey, we I'm in the kitchen every day, every day whipping it up, whipping it up. I love, I love the way you got you. You found your own niche. Like I said, I told you same thing with Country Wayne. Nobody has done what you know Country Wayne is doing, mm-hmm. and uh, I always said. But see, Faison, that's another whole nother level too. People don't understand. They be like, oh, I see him in the comments saying, Faison ain't funny. Or Faison, you, you better go do a show. I go. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't care how much they both talk whatever about each other because it started on my show. So I, I have to talk about it a lot of times uh, where they don't, you know, they don't see eye to eye. But the one thing I can say, I go to both of them show. They both cater to two different crowds of people. Mm-hmm. You know, we've been mm-hmm. to both. They both. And there's enough know, to go around anyway. so much to go around. Like, yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.